Hi there, welcome and thanks for checking out this video. Today I'm going to be doing an in-depth review of an amazing new plant-based product that I think just may be the best plant-based sausage yet, Impossible Sausage. So if you're trying to decide whether or not to purchase this product, then this video is exactly what you're looking for. I recently tried Gardein's plant-based Beyond Breakfast Sausage for the first time, and so I was very excited to try the Impossible Sausage so that I could compare the two. After trying both a couple of times, I think that I prefer the Impossible Sausage, although they are both great. Later on, I'm going to cook some Impossible Sausage and show a closer look at why exactly I think they're currently the best plant-based sausage product that I've tried so far. I've reviewed Impossible Food products before, and they continue to impress me with each new product launch. The Impossible Sausage is sold in a 14-ounce plastic tube, and I have seen them in stores near the other breakfast sausages in the refrigerated section. I purchased these at two different stores, and both times they were not frozen. Impossible meat products are sold just about anywhere you shop for groceries. I purchased Impossible Sausage at Target and the neighborhood Walmart. I've seen the Impossible Sausage priced as low as $4.98, but like all of these types of foods, shop around and watch for sales as the prices can vary quite a bit. The ingredients are all very similar to other plant-based meat products with only minor differences. There's really not much listed here. Impossible Sausage does contain soy heme that is in the Impossible Meat, which the FDA originally required safety testing on animals. A serving size is 2 ounces, and there are 7 servings per package. At 130 calories a serving, the Impossible Sausage has about half the calories as pork sausage. It has around 60% less fat, it has less sodium, and no cholesterol and no trans fat. When it comes to nutrition, this is really a great product. Here is what the retail packaging looks like for the Impossible Sausage. You'll notice printed right on the package it says, if frozen, best by April 2022. But like I mentioned before, they were not frozen in the two stores where I purchased this. At Target, where I got this one, they had an additional date sticker shown here on them to indicate the new best buy date because they're not frozen. This is the same thing that I've seen done with Impossible Burger. They always have a used by date when they're purchased unfrozen. However, a couple of times I've seen these at Walmart, they did not have the additional date sticker on them. Likewise, I've occasionally seen the date sticker missing on Impossible Meat packages sold at Walmart. Here's an example of the date sticker on Impossible Burger that I purchased at Trader Joe's. So here is what the Impossible Sausage looks like coming fresh out of the package. I've only done this a couple of times so far, and as you can see, I still haven't figured out a great way to open these up. And it's even more difficult to do while filming first-person point of view. But you can still see what the process looks like. It's very soft. It's kind of like oatmeal, really. And I made a pretty big mess the first time I opened one of these. But believe it or not, this time it's actually going a lot better. I tried to portion it out as I was opening it last time, but then I figured out that it was better just to get it all out of the package and then divide it up. And that's exactly what I did this time, and it went a whole lot better. So here is a really great view of what the Impossible Sausage looks like before it's cooked. You can see it's pretty soft. And once I got the package opened up all the way, it was pretty easy to just squeeze it out onto my cutting board. Then I kind of flatten it out and then I use my knife to try and portion it into four equal pieces. So after opening the package, I portioned it into four equal pieces and then I formed those four pieces into four small balls which I then flattened onto this pan. Here's a picture of what it looked like before they were cooked. After about five to six minutes, here's what it looks like. I then flipped them over, and here's a picture of what they look like when you first turn them. Now, I didn't flip them the first time I cooked these, and I don't think it turned out as good. I liked them being a little more done around the edge, and it didn't do as good a job of that when I didn't flip them. With the air fryer, you don't have to flip them, but I do think it turns out better when you do. So after 12 minutes, they're done, and here's what they look like. So in this last picture, I flipped over just the front two one more time so that you could see that they're pretty evenly cooked on both sides now. The internal temperatures at this point were about 180 degrees, so they're definitely done, but not overcooked. So here is a great picture of the finished cooked sausage. You can see how nice and brown the outside turned out with just a tiny bit of char and how soft and moist the inside looks. These just filled the entire room with the smells of cooked sausage and aroma of herbs and spices like sage and fennel. Here is a mouth-watering sausage, egg, and cheese muffin that I made using the Impossible Sausage. And here is a delicious pizza that I made with the Impossible Sausage. And the taste results are three smiles all the way. Impossible Sausage is just amazing. I've tried a lot of plant-based meat products, and they've all been very impressive. But I think that this may be the most impressed that I've been so far. I know that I've said this before, but I don't think I've ever meant it more when I tell you now that I honestly think that if you didn't know better, it would be hard to tell the difference between these and real pork sausages. Of the plant-based sausages that I've tried so far, this is definitely my favorite. And for value, three smiles plus. 
These are not only cheaper than other comparable plant-based sausage, but they're actually the same price or even maybe cheaper than pork-based sausage. Add to that the fact that nutrition-wise, they have half the calories as pork sausage, less than half the fat, they're lower in sodium, and have no cholesterol and no trans fat. This is truly an impressive product. When it comes to sugar, three smiles. A serving has zero grams of sugar. For sodium, one smile. At 380 milligrams of sodium per serving, this is considered a high sodium food. And for protein, two smiles. A serving of Impossible Sausage has a good seven grams of protein. For fiber, one smile. There is one gram of fiber per serving. For processing, two smiles. Impossible Sausage is a high sodium, moderately processed food. It has no sugar, has only a little fiber, but has a decent amount of protein. It has no cholesterol and no trans fat. Of the foods that I've reviewed so far, when it comes to nutrition, this scores a good nine out of a possible 15. In this category, I'm going to award three smiles. As I covered in my Impossible Nuggets video review, and I also mentioned it here on the ingredients slide in this video review, soy heme, an ingredient of this product, was originally tested on animals as part of the development and FDA approval of the Impossible Burger. It's been many years since that happened, and the company has not done any animal testing since 2017. I'm not going to hold the past against them, even though this product benefits from that original testing. But just like I don't hold vegans accountable for their past when they ate meat, I'm happy for where we are now, and I'm not going to hold this against Impossible Foods. They are a great company and have done something wonderful for the world, and they absolutely deserve three smiles for this category. Impossible Foods absolutely gets three smiles in this category. For more information, see the link below. Now is when I would usually ask, so is Impossible Sausage worth it? But you already know what my answer is going to be. Absolutely. They're one of my favorite plant-based meat products so far, and they score a very respectable 21 out of 27, and I can't possibly recommend them enough. This is the best plant-based sausage that I've tried so far, and I can't wait to have it again. I hope that I provided enough information here so that you can decide if this is something that you want to purchase. Thanks again for checking out this video. I hope that you stick around and check out the rest of my videos. If you found this video helpful, then please remember to give it a thumbs up. If you subscribe, remember to hit the notification bell too so that you are notified when the next review is posted. You can also follow at CharlieVegan on Twitter for the latest updates. Thanks again for watching.